that adulterate and wicked beast, with the beguiling of his wit, with traitorous sin. O oh, filthy wit and evil that do so seduce, one to his shameful lust, the will of my most seeming virtuous queen. O oh, Hamlet, what a falling off was there. From me, whose love was of that dignity, that it went hand in hand even with the vow I made to her in marriage, and to decline upon a wretch whose natural gifts were poor to those of mine. Remember what is written, Hamlet. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. O oh, Hamlet, this iniquity was in her, his heart already, but soft. Methinks I sent the morning air. Brief let me be, sleeping within my orchard, my custom always in the afternoon. Upon my secure hour thy uncle stole with juice of cursed hebanon in a vial. And in the porches of mine ears did pour the leprous distillment whose effect holds such an enmity with blood of man that swift like quicksilver it courses through the natural gates and alleys of the body. And with a sudden vigor it doth possess and curd like eager droppings into milk. The thin and wholesome blood, so did it mine, and a most instant terror barked about most lazar-like, with vile and loathsome crust, all oh, my smooth body. Thus was I sleeping by a brother's hand of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched, cut off even in the blossoms of my sin. No chance to call on Jesus Christ and trust in him, no repenting done, but sent to my account with all my transgressions on my head. Oh, horrible, oh, horrible, most horrible! If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not. Let not the royal bed of Denmark be a couch for treachery treason. But howsoever thou pursuest this act, take not thy mind, nor let thy soul contrive against thy mother aught. Leave her to God, and to those thorns that in her bosom lodge, to prick and sting her. Fare thee well at once. A glowworm shows the matin to be near, and gins to pale his ineffectual fire. Adieu, 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 remember me. It is written, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, 
that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized.